Hey everyone, Big Mac here. We just figured, uh, we found another chapter page. The war to end all war. Oh! Seriously, Alex, how does your... How does your, um, sanity keep deteriorating after every chapter? Okay. Well, what about your health? Your health is down too! Alrighty. Okay, hopefully we're in good spirit. We're in better spirits now, so let's read this thing. See what's happening. The war to end all wars. World we War One. Mankind looked at war and the value of human life. Over nineteen thousand men lost their lives every day in the trenches of the Somme. Some say uselessly. Some invoke a higher cause. I read accounts of the slaughter from many journalists who spent time in the trenches but I found the account of a certain Peter Jacob to be the most horrible of all. His implication about the ancients' involvement with the war was hideous and so obvious. Oh. With the horror of the Battle of the Somme scant miles away and the distant echoes of pounding artillery, a young journalist named Peter Jacob researched his latest story from the front lines. And we're back at Omniens. His grim task brought him to Oublier Cathedral now transformed into a field hospital. Oh, jeez. That's kind of ironic. I find no solace in the purpose behind all the senseless violence that surrounds me. Young men die at a rate unheard of in centuries of warfare. Shelling, machine guns, mustard gas, rip, pierce, burn to flesh. Men so gorgeous are own urine to stop insidious gas. Okay. No stretcher? That tinge is lit up. We're back in France! Yay! And we're under attack! A soldier's letter lies on the table waiting to be sent home. Yeah, let's pick it up. And let's read it. First letter from par Private Reginald Jackson to his beloved Margaret. I was admitted to this hospital on Tuesday. The damage caused to my legs was slight, but there is no way that I could ever walk normally again. I hate this place. Every day I am reminded that I will never be able to do the things I love. The hospital is a very strange place, converted from an old cathedral. There's an odd atmosphere around it, silent, silent but for the words of the wounded, calling out in the night, there is no doubt, it is haunted. What I find most odd in this place is that you never see anyone leave during the day. It's not right, no goodbyes or farewells, just an empty bed when you wake. What? Ooh, and we have a lucky penny, that's nice, and we can make... Well, if we're a journalist, we can make photos. That kind of makes sense. Okay, so... We are out... We are in France. Oh, we can go outside! Oh my gosh! Do I want to go out this way? I don't even know. Hello? Hi, dude. The guard shifts about, obviously bored with his duty and awaiting a replacement, or perhaps a call to arms. Oh boy, there's fighting outside. Uh, with the war being so close, a curfew has been imposed. Traveling outside the hospital is not a safe thing to do, since intruders will likely be shot on sight. He decides to remain inside. I don't know. Where is the greater evil? Now, one thing. Okay, now again, I've been trying to play this game semi-blind. Um. Whoa, hi. With a motherly voice, the nurse advised that Peter get some rest. Plenty of supplies out here. Again, now, oh, what do we have? Stacked deeply on the landing crates, on the landing, crates of medical supplies await you. Surrettes of morphine, bandages, tourniquets, antiseptics. The list goes on and on. Man. Oh, wows. Even up here. Are these, like, dead people? Or, I don't know. Uh, International Red Cross symbols? I don't know. Considering all the bad things that are happening outside, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if more was happening inside. 
All right. Um, really quickly, this guy has very low health but very high magic. So that's no very low sanity. But oh crap! If he has low sanity, that's not gonna be good. Oh, here's the old bell tower. I remember this thing. Anything of importance? Doesn't look like it. That's too bad. Maybe later, like once we pick up the tome. Again, I'm just kind of wandering around here. But like I was saying is, um, I I semi started playing this level last time just as a practice, and about 30 seconds in, the sound just completely stopped. So I don't know if that was something associated with the game, something associated with the TV, if it was just a sanity effect. I'm not. I'm honestly not sure. Um, obviously, we still have the sounds going on right now, but. Uh, I, I can't guarantee if they'll stay on or if they'll just, like, kind of cut off after a while. Hmm. Well, let's go see what all the people are messing about. Uh, covered with blood-stained sheets, these poor souls have passed from this world. For them, the suffering is over, but for those around them, the ordeal continues. Yeah. Oh boy, fun times. The faint sound of moaning emanates from behind the linen veils. Whis- whoa. That was a weird, like, change of light. Whispered utterances, frantic prayers to loved ones, words offered only by those who face our mortality. Lovely. This soldier is rather distressed. Perhaps he has lost a lot of his friends to the trenches of the Somme. He confides that the only stories are sad ones, and that the only true heroes are in the mortuary. Ah, uh, and the nurse advises us to rest. Yeah. Although there's this... Ten. That's a little oddly lit. Oddly lit up. What about this dude? Um. Nope. Same. Same sad story as before. Uh. Looks like the same. All right. So it looks like the same kind of words as before. So. Let's see what's up with this particular tent. No. Nothing else here. Okay. That well, doesn't look like there's anybody inside either. So. All right. Well, now are we supposed to go? Can you go back here again? Examine the altar. Um, the altar is cleared of all valuables, not only to prevent looting, but also to afford space for medical supplies, and even as an operating table should the need arise. Well, that's a very hospitable. Here's the lectern. The altar. The other. Pog Ooh, hey! Peter finds a sealed envelope that seems to have been left behind. Yeah, why not? Can we open it? Um, it looks rather official. And they're not gonna miss it. Soldier's orders. Interesting. What are our orders? Oh. Um, oh, maybe we can, like, use it and pretend that we're a soldier later on or something in disguise. That'd be kind of weird. Um, an official note on Army Regulation Stationery, cor correctly spelled, um, Private Thompson, the or by order of Lieutenant Hargraves, on behalf of HRH George V, um, Her Royal Highness, Her Royal, not Highness, yeah, His Royal Highness, George V, you are to leave your post on duty and rally in the street outside uh, Ubwe Cathedral. Further orders will be presented at the rallying point. God save the king. So, I wonder if I can give that to the dude who is just kind of like, I'm bored. I don't want to do nothing. Hi, dude. The guard frowns and ushers Peter away from the Oregon. He explains that it is one of the few antiques in the region that has so far survived the war, and that while he's alive, it will remain intact. Darn it. Oh, boy. Okay, so obviously we've got the ooey off symbol kind of just blatantly like, ta-da! Uh, oh, but it's a seven! Oh, man. Uh, guys, I think that thing with the sound just happened again. I don't hear anything. Um, an odd collection of colored lines decorate the wall below the design steps appear to lead up into the wall going nowhere. I'm not going crazy, am I? The sound just kind of stopped, right? I mean, I, mean, I, I would not be joking around this if I, if I weren't. Um, so again, I don't know if this is a game thing, if it's a sanity thing, I don't know if it's a thing with the disc of the game, I don't know if it's a programming thing, 
I don't know if it's my TV just getting... No, my TV should be okay. So, now I'm just generally getting freaked out now at this point. Abruptly, the guard asks if Peter has curtains for the old tower, for it's a restricted area. Um, well, let's try using the soldier's orders. The guard inspects the orders and hands them back to Peter, saying that these orders are intended for someone else. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe Mr. Board Guy won't notice that, then. I don't know, so I'm a little confused. So I really apologize if this is like something that's going to keep happening. Um, I really can't do anything about it. This is the only copy of the game that I have. In a way, it kind of makes the game less scary. I like that. Um, but maybe this dude is the one that wants to go out and... Okay, seriously, what the hell? Okay, that tells me that it's a, it's a thing inside the game, or in terms of the game's programming. Because, yeah, I just did something awesome, and all of a sudden the music just came back. You guys heard it. It went, Wah! The guard unfolds the orders and begins to read, before explaining, Bloody oil, lad! We must be on the offensive! <coughs> and he takes leave of his post. Well, we can go in this room now. I think I'm going to save right now, just in case. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense that we can save in the middle of war, but that'd be nice to use some save states here. Go in! Uh, I don't like this place. I want the mutiness back on. I wanted back the muted again. Um, designed to muster patriotic feelings, this poster is declared that the Allies are fighting the good fight. It's a small comfort for the occupants of the room whose spent corpses lie on the cold cathedral floor. I don't actually know any, I mean, I know my Spanish-ish, but not really, but I know French is, you know, a Latin language too. So, Adenu a presser la menace, uh, la victoire est à nous, and il observant la subsistance, vos lumières d'or. I, again, I'm sorry, I'm probably pronouncing those things terribly. Um, victory is ours, is the first one, I think. Al de nu, a presser la We must defeat the enemy, maybe. We must uh, crush the the foe. And la substance, la substance. Yeah, I don't know what the last one is. But anyway, there's dead bodies in here. Stacked like logs, Peter stands before the price of human war. The bloody corpses of young men who have made the ultimate sacrifice to defend their own countries and those of others. Well, yeah, let's take the revolver. Next to the pew, that's... Uh-oh. Maybe I shouldn't have picked this up quite yet. Oh, boy. Um... Uh-oh. Something just happened. How do I get out of here? Oh, here we are, again. So this is how we come in contact with the Tome of Eternal Darkness. That's nice. Here's Mr. Bianchi. Yeah, hi, dude. Poor Mr. Bianchi. Although, I mean, look, in terms of statues, we've almost run out of statues. Or, like, little pedestals for them. So maybe, I don't know, we're running out of dudes. So, let's pick it up. Alright, so obviously I think we're the whole building is under attack. Um, let's just see what happened. Whoa, okay. Ah! Frick! Okay, we do have a gun. We have a gun. Use the gun. Die! Seriously, this is like the worst gun ever. Oh my gosh. Lucky Penny! Oh, save me! Um, okay. Uh, let's see here if I unequip. Oh boy. How about I just try and get away from that thing? Um, the journalist and Peter is determined to uncover the full story of the cathedral, no matter what it entails. To the bloody end, Peter decides to stay. Um, yeah, that end is gonna be bloody. 
Ebities, okay. Um, oh jeez. I can't help her! I'm sorry, nurse lady! I can't help you! I don't have anything that- No, now, now I'm supposed to use the revolver. Shoot. Nor do I have any, uh, ammunition. Um... Oh. This is- this is not bode well for our hero. Well, I don't even know if he's our hero or not. Um... Shucks. Oh, what? Are you gonna try and hurt me too now? Now everybody is against me! This is not good. Okay, I'm gonna go down this way. Okay, I'm gonna stop here because I have no idea where I'm getting what I'm getting myself into. Alright, this is a big mess saying later.